Hey guys, did you know that I have a Patreon where you can support me and plus get awesome rewards? Or if you're thinking to yourself, but Julian, I want even more bang for my buck while still supporting you, you can pop over to my Redbubble and check out my awesome store with new designs appearing regularly. But for now, enjoy the video you're about to watch. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of Great American Reads that's going on right now through PBS. This video is not sponsored by that or anything like that. I'm not popular enough to get sponsored. I'm just saying that I've been hearing about it around and it got me thinking about what classics, quote unquote classics, I have read. And so I just made this video. And for this I apologize, but you're probably still gonna watch it anyway. Have fun. Hey guys, it's me, Julian Greystoke. This is just gonna be a super relaxed video. I'm just gonna lounge here. And uh, it's going to be, I just went online and found a list of 50 books to read before you die. Because I just wanted to go through them and see how many of these books that I have actually read. Not many of them probably because a lot of them are classics that I don't really read classics. But let's get started, shall we? So. Uh, first one is uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, so they're lumping all of those books together, and then I cannot say that I have read them because I had not read the entire trilogy. Uh, 1984, nope. Pride and Prejudice, nope. Grapes of Wrath, nope. To Kill a Mockingbird, nope. Reno, Jane Eyre, mm -mm. I love the movie though, one of the movies. Wuthering Heights, yes, under protest, I hated it. A Passage to India, nope. Lord of the Flies, nope. Hamlet, yes. By the way, I'm not really saying authors, because I'm going to mispronounce like half of them anyway. A Bend in the River, no. The Great Gatsby, I tried to read, I hated it. Gulliver's Travels, nope. A Christmas Carol, yes, a couple of times. Huckleberry Finn, no. Robinson Crusoe, no. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, no. Catch-22, no. The Count of Monte Cristo, I started, and I, I didn't dislike it, I just stopped reading. Memoirs of a Geisha, nope. Catcher in the Rye, I have read parts of, but not the whole thing. The Bell Jar, no. No, I didn't read The Bell Jar. Brave New World, no. Anne Frank, no. Don Quixote, no. I have read parts of the Bible, but not the whole thing. Canterbury Tales, nope. Ulysses, no Perino. The Quiet American, never even heard of it. Birdsong, no. Money, no. The Harry Potter series, which they are lumping all together. I have read the entire thing, so there's that. Moby Dick, mm mm. Wind in the Willows. I had that read to me as a child, so I'm gonna count it as a yes, because I really haven't got much going for me here. Uh, His Dark Materials, again, they're lumping the whole series together, and I've only read the first one, so I guess it doesn't count. Anna Karenina, nope. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, yes. Thank you, finally. Throw me a bone. Rebecca, nope. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime? No. On the Road? No. Heart of Darkness? Nope. The Way We Live Now? Nope. The Stranger? No. The Color Purple? No. Life of Pi? No. Frankenstein? No. War of the Worlds? I have listened to the uh, radio play version many times, but I have not read the book. Men Without Women? No. The Divine Comedy? No. The Picture of Dorian Gray? No. Okay, I guess that's it. That's it, guys. Six. Six of the 50 books to read before you die. Let me see if I can find, like, one more list, because I feel like this one is, like, all classics except Harry Potter. This one, okay, this one's more inclusive, but it's really long, so let's see if we go through it together, and hopefully this video won't be too boring for you all. What are the Maestro G? Nope, we already talked about that. To Kill a Mockingbird? No. 1984? Pride and Prejudice? Wuthering Heights? Yes. Hitchhiker's, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, again, I've listened to the radio play and I've seen the movie, but I have not read the book. Gatsby, Jane Eyre, Brave New World, Harry Potter series? Yes. Middlemarch? Nope. War and Peace? Fuck no. Great Expectations? No, I think I started that one. I am interested in reading that one. The Chronicles of Narnia. Again, I've only read the first one. I tried to read more in that series, and I just couldn't get into it. I tried multiple times. It's just The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is the only one I like. Little Women. Little Women. No, the complete works of William Shakespeare. You know what? I have read a majority of Shakespeare, so I'm counting it, because his complete works, there's a lot. There's a lot, but I'm counting it. I don't care. Call me a cheater if you want to. Alice in Wonderland. Nope to Frankenstein. Wind in the Willows. Tale of Two Cities, Emma, I'm just gonna start shaking my head. The Sound in the Fury, David Copperfield, Mad Bovary, The Hobbit, yes, thank you, finally, throw me a bone. Sons and Lovers, Moby Dick, Tess of the Dubervilles, Don Quixote, Christmas Carol, yes. Treasure Island, again, I think was read to me when I was a child, but I don't remember anything of it. Winnie the Pooh, I've read, I read that when I was little. Canterbury Tales, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I have read, yes. Uh, Heart of Darkness, Little Prince, Gulliver's Travels. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys, I just wanted to do this as a spur of the moment. The BFG, no. Secret Garden, yes, fuck yes. Charlotte's Web, yes, okay, maybe we're getting there. Things Fall Apart, no. Artemis Fowl, yes. The Complete Sherlock Holmes. I've not read The Complete Sherlock Holmes. Guys, you keep getting me with these, these things that are like the whole series or the complete works. Persuasion, Love and Time of Cholera, Portrait of a Lady, Scarlet Letter, Anne Frank, Sense and Sensibility, The Importance of Being Earnest, Far From the Madding Crowd, Peter Pan and Wendy, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, boy oh boy, this is bad, I haven't read any of these. Ender's Game, I read Ender's Game. You can judge me about that if you want to. Um, I Capture the Castle, no. Matilda, I don't think I read Matilda. I know a lot of people were into Matilda when they were little, but I was not. The Yellow Wallpaper, Something We Get This Way Comes, Cold Comfort, Kite Runner, Holes, I've read Holes. The Twits, no. 
Uh, Atonement, no. Catcher in the Rye, again, read part of it. Uh, Oliver Twist, I have read The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, and I don't have the whole Oz series, so there you go, I've read the first one. Ulysses, Grapes of Wrath, Animal Farm, Hundred Years of Solitude, That Lawn Mower is Coming Closer, I'm gonna shut the window. I think I just made it echo more. Lord of the Flies, no. Dr. Faustus, Catch-22, The Hunger Games series, yes, I have read, because I'm a basic bitch. Next page, Dune, no. J um, Mansfield Park, no. The Giver, I have read. The Outsiders, I have read. The Tales of Peter Rabbit, I have read. Yes to Perks of Being a Wallflower. I have not read the entire Dark Materials trilogy. I have read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I thought it was okay. Yes, I've read Speak. I fucking love it. Virginia Woolf, The Lighthouse, no. To the Lighthouse. Crime and Punishment, The Crystal Cave. Lolita, I have read A Wrinkle in Time. Uh, Slaughterhouse-Five, The Invisible Man. Uh, Kinshu is here, by the way. Here to judge me for what I haven't read. On the Road, Count of Monte Cristo. The Heart is a Lonely Hunter. Never even heard of it. Beloved. The Stand, I tried to read. Stephen King's The Stand, I tried. Stephen King and I have some issues. Rebecca, nope. Nostromo, The Divine Comedy, Brideshead Revisited, The Prayer of for Owen Meany, Clockwork Orange, Passage to India, Fahrenheit 451, the entire Discworld series I have not read. I've read some books in the Discworld series, but not the whole damn thing. Portrait of an Artist's Young Man, no. Midnight's Children, no. Captain Corelli's Mandolin, no. Woman in White, no. The Old Man in the Sea, I have read that. I actually liked it. A lot of people don't like that one, but I liked it. Complete Stories of Franz Kafka, no. Call of the Wild, I read, yes. Uh, I, Claudius, no. The Stranger, no. Oh my gosh, I have so many books about you. The Iliad, Pillars of the Earth, uh, The Odyssey, A Town Like Alice, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to... Abs Absalom, Absalom, okay, no. As I Lay Dying, no. American Tragedy, Native Son, U.S. Trilogy, The Good Soldier, The Mice and Men, The Picture of Dorian Gray, Members of Vacation, The Vanity Fair, All the King's Men, Darkness at Noon, Les Mis, no. Journey to the End of the Night, no. The Sun Also Rises, Bird Song, Search... In Search of Lost Time, The Maltese Falcon, The Handmaid's Tale, I have read, I didn't like it. Judge me, you can begin your judging. You probably already began your judging because I have not read so many of these. The Magus, I think that's how you pronounce it. Go Tell It on the Mountain, The Rainbow, I read Anne of Green Gables, thank you. The Golden Notebook, Wings of the Dove, The Way of All Flesh, The Alchemist, The Tender is the Night, The Doll's House, Women in Love, Knots and Crosses, don't know what most of these are at this point. King and Abel, Tropic of, Tropic of Cancer, no idea. Robinson Crusoe, no, Their Eyes Are Watching God, no. Tr Tristram Shandy, no, Light in August. Two Men in a Boat, Age of Innocence. The Android Dream of Electric Sheep, I've not read yet. I would like to someday because that is the best name for a book ever. Uh, Mrs. Dalloway, no. The Movie Goer, no. Black Beauty, yes. Because it was a horse book and I was into horse books as a kid. Farewell to Arms, Edgar Allan Poe, Complete Tales and Poems. Again, I've read some, not all. Howard's End, Dracula. Uh, Pierre, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Oedipus Rex. Magic Mountain, Appointment in Samara. The Bridge of San Luis, San Luis, San Luis. I, forgive me, I'm reading these really fast. Henderson, The Rain King, and I don't know what half of these are. Dangerous Liaisons, Winsburg, Ohio. Tom Jones, the Aenid, I think that's how you pronounce it. Ambassador's Perfume, Studies, or the, no, the Studs L Lonigan Trilogy, <laughs> The Tale of Genji. I have no idea, guys. I've wandered into a whole world of books I should be ashamed for not reading, and I don't even know what they are. Uh, Gargantua and P Panse Pantagruel, sure. Clarissa, The Big Sleep, Dead Souls, Naked and Dead, The Way We Live Now, The Golden Bowl, Pilgrim's Progress. I had, uh, I listened to an audiobook of that, I think. I'm gonna count that as yes, because I think I have actually listened to an audiobook of Pilgrim's Progress when I was young. 2001 Space Odyssey, Sister Carrie, Hunger, Finnegan's Wake, Faust, Scoop, we're back, we're back, we get one book and then we're just back to this again. Oh my goodness, there are so many, there are so many, this is a terrible idea. Handful of Dust, uh, I don't even know if I want to keep reading these. Alright, I'm just gonna find the ones that I have read and we'll see at the end how many I have read out of all of these. It's right now, does it tell me? I have 27 of 754, yeah, I'm not gonna read the names of all of these, I'm just gonna tell you at the end. Not read Candide, but I saw the opera. I believe there's an opera of it, and I thought it was amazing. At least I'm f if I'm thinking of the right thing, maybe I'm not even thinking of the right thing. Pippi Longstocking, yes! There's one, and like, so many. It's starting to be where I want to click on them if I've even heard of them. All of the Stephen King ones are ones that I didn't manage to get all the way through. Like The Shining. I tried. Starship Troopers. I didn't like it. But I read it. Bridget Jones's Diary is on here, which I haven't read, but it seems so odd sitting in with all of these classics. Alice Through the Looking Glass, yes, I have read. I've not read Gorman Gas, but I want to. Because it's, it's messed up and I love it. I watched a miniseries that was uh, made from it a while back, and I loved that so much, so I want to read Gorman Gas someday. Uh, so far, my, I've got 30 out of 754, so we're doing well. I had the Jungle Book read to me as a kid, so I'm counting it. I have read The Book Thief. There we go. There's one. I thought it was okay. I, I didn't crap myself with how amazing it was like so many other people who have read it. I thought it was alright. I have read Stephen King's It. I made it all the way through. That scene. You know what scene I'm talking about. 
It's fucked up, and I will never read Stephen King's It again, but I wanted to be able to say that I had. So, I read And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Score! Read American Gods by Neil Gaiman. My husband has read the Wheel of Time series. He loves it, but I don't think it would be my thing. The Three Musketeers! Yes, thank you! I love The Three Musketeers so much. I did read the Wizard of Earthsea series when I was young. I don't remember much about it, but I read the- I devoured it when I was, like, in my early teens. Tried to read The Name of the Wind, didn't like it, didn't get all the way through. Tried to read Dark Tower by Stephen King, didn't like it, didn't get all the way through. Read Heidi when I was little, 38 of 754, you guys. The Faults in Our Stars, yeah, I have read that. I was not terribly impressed. I'm sorry if you love it. I've read Looking for Alaska by John Green. I've read every John Green book. I've read Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I thought it was alright. I didn't love it. It was okay. I have read Divergent. I'm not happy about it, but I read it. Paper Towns? Yep. Abundance of Catherines. At least they're letting me count all of these John Green books as, like, separate books. If they did it for Harry Potter, I'd feel really impressive. I have read 13 Reasons Why. I have thoughts, but I'm not gonna share them here have read World War Z. I have read The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. I really liked it. I recommend. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series. I have read the entire series. It is a seriously underrated series. I do recommend it. Even if you're not a girl, I think it's a really good series. Uh, the first book I think is probably the best one, but I, they're all pretty good. have read Will Grayson, Will Grayson a couple of times. have read Howl's Moving Castle and seen the movie. Loved them both. Tried to read Stargirl, did not get through it. Tried to read Sabriel, the Ab Horson series, and I just did not like it. I think the style just wasn't for me. Garth Mix's style, it just kind of feels removed from character, and I wasn't into it. The Dark is Rising, I have read. It's weird which ones they make you have read the series and which ones are fine to just read the first book. I have read James and the Giant Peach. I have read Graceling. I have read Alana, the Song of the Lioness series. Yes, I have. I've read Wicked. Didn't like it. I think I've read Before I Fall. I can't... It seems really familiar. I can't remember, but I'm like 90% sure I did, so I'm, I'm, I'm clicking it. I have read The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. I, I love it. Please go read it. have read The Maze Runner. I have read If I Stay. I didn't like it that much. I have read Crank. Don't remember what I thought about it. I have read The Goose Girl. That's random. That's random to be on this list. It's an odd one. I have read The Daughter of the Lioness series by Tamara Pierce because I have read all of those. I have read I Am the Messenger by Marcus Suzak. I have read The Enchanted Forest Chronicles and they are great. Okay, well the first one is great. The first one I think is one of the best books. Like the best just for fun fantasy book, comedy fantasy book. Dealing with Dragons is one of the best books in that, like, niche that I have ever read. Check it out. I have read The Knife of Never Letting Go, and I hated it. I have read Feed. I liked it. I have read Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I thought it was okay. I read The Neverending Story. Didn't like it all that much. I read the first in the Leviathan series. Did not get through it. So, let's see my results, y'all. I read 68 out of 754 books. 9%. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> so I will try to find this and put link in the doobly-doo so you can find out how many of these books you have read, but frankly, I should be ashamed of myself that I have not read. To be fair, some of these were series where I had read like the first book but not the rest of the series, but then again that probably wouldn't have helped me because really, what even am I doing with my life? Clearly not reading important books. You guys, you know I post new videos here Mondays and Fridays. All the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo down by Kinshu, who is on my lap. And if you like what you saw here but you wish it was higher quality, then you can support me on Patreon. All of the donations on Patreon go towards getting me better equipment. And I will see all of you again next time with something that's probably less lazy than this. Bye! Alright, time to get off my Kinshu. Hey everybody, it is shout out time! Time for me to shout out to my amazing patrons, Kim, Sarah, and Savvy Panda. So if you want to be cool like these great people, then become my patron over on Patreon.